Okay, so um, charrettes was thrown on the table in the first round. Um, um, I was kind of inspired that in the second round to add hackathon. Uh, and then kind of more things kind of popped up that were in the family. There's something called code sprints. And then Amanda added uh, safe to fail probes and ritual descent. So these actually apply to a bunch of different processes. So we're not going to talk about the subtleties of the difference of the processes. Um, maybe a term generically for all of these is that they're about, instead of open space, it's action space. Or I feel like one of the fundamental elements is there's an artifact at the end. It's not just about a decision or whatever, but you, you have a plan, you have a piece of code, you have something that's kind of done at the end that is more that that is the result of the of the thing. So, um, uh, clearly, you have you know a well defined invitation is essential. Um, we put where, where you have a, uh, a stack of cards. The top card is we think the one that's most important, and you could almost get rid of the other cards, uh, maybe uh, that are underneath. But there were subtleties in the other cards that made a difference. So we felt like follow the energy was essential. But part of what that allowed for was priority focus. Mm -hmm. um, uh, the uh, core structure of kind of like a, you know somebody said bones of of all of these processes is the power of constraints. So you know a hackathon might be a weekend, a design sprint might be a day, um, and what it forces you to do is improvise. Okay, so again, like this, follow the energy makes you have a priority focus. Power of constraints forces you to improvise. Um, and what the process tends to be is some variance between these three things. I think we all felt like reflection action cycle was an important part of all of them. Um, but some diverge, some converge, some do both. There was some question there. And they all kind of have a little bit of a sense of iteration. So it's, it, again, from top to bottom, there was a, it was hard to to get rid of iteration for some reason. Um, the, um, uh, but then there was kind of this emotional context and, and uh, um, I think we all agreed that sort of this freedom to fail type thing was an, an essential part of it, that it was okay to make a mistake, it was an okay to not have it happen. Um, you know, maybe some you know questions in some cases like your particular thing, you were very constrained and you really did want it not to fail. Um, but there, you know, but traditionally there's kind of an aspect of that. There isn't a card for freedom to fail, so we tried to find something that fit. We think that all risk for the mill maybe comes closest. Uh, you know, everything that happens, mistakes, upsets, tangents. Um, but there was a celebration of in freedom to fail that was missing from this one. Letting go is also part of freedom to fail, but again, letting go kind of has a sadness to it. Um, so I don't know. We we didn't. That's why we have that extra card in there. And it is important um, that on the exit that you're celebrating um, you know, all of the different things, the failures, the successes, the learnings, et cetera. And that causes an appreciation. Um, uh, Just in, in terms of that freedom to fail, a, a brief thing that kind of comes to mind in terms of that. It's like in the kind of the video game world, the epic fail idea, where you fail so spectacularly because you were trying to do something so ambitious that rather than saying like, oh, that you know, that sucks, mm -hmm. it's like, wow, we tried to do this thing and here's how it went so very wrong, <laughs> <laughs> and then that's great. Like here's what I learned from it, or here's yeah. some stuff that's just yeah. cool about how that happened. It's one of our spectacular fails. Yeah, yeah. 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 one of the top prizes at our hackathon, which is this huge statue of a skull with glowing eyes. And a, uh, a like five hundred dollars worth of drives and all this kind of stuff. So it's probably the second or third most valuable wow. prize is sa the best sacrifice to the demo gods. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah. And so you know, and we take your picture, and you know, oh, wow. and it's just nice. part of the culture. Okay. Comments on this map, Tree and then Nancy. Coincidental or designed? <laughs> Category alignments. <laughs> Total, I mean, oh, totally wow. oh wow! I had not even noticed that until mm. now. Wow! It is totally. <laughs> cool. All right. Yeah. My, it's just a comment that visually, this really worked for me. That um, th that I could see how much these supported the top. I, that really worked. I wish I could articulate it more, but uh, just liked that that you put like this one. Uh, 
may have had been more important, but this really supported that. And it, it was just a really clear way to use the cards that way for me. So. And just, I had no idea what these words meant, and so just by you going through that explanation, yeah, I kind of grokked a sense of it, and yeah. I felt yeah. like if someone used that, I would have go, oh, I have a vague idea now. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, 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 totally yeah. unfamiliar territory. Yeah. Yeah. So that was great. Yeah. So it's the group pattern language guide to group methods. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, congratulations to this group. And just any last final comments?